right, we're looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and add my salt. salt on it. About 35 more grams of salt than I normally, I mean of um, a flour than I normally do. And I think that'll even out this a little bit more in the long run. Because the next step is the hardest step, or the longest step. It's incorporating the starter and that usually is messy and takes a little bit of time. It's like 8.30 in the morning. I fed this starter like around 10 o'clock last night. No, no, like nine, nine o'clock. It's nice and thick. It's still pretty bubbly and big. So I think we're um, in a good spot with the start. It smells really good too. Feels good, looks good. Let it sit for an hour and then we'll start on our folds. Okay, fold one. It's looking okay. getting already starting to get smooth here it's uh, congealing more and I don't, I don't know what term that you'd use to, to talk about it getting tighter I guess tighter <laughs> but it's feeling good looking good smelling good now uh, wait another hour and then get to the second fold okay fold two We're looking good feeling feeling all right Oh, it's getting air. It's getting bubbly. It's got a air bubble right there. That's nice. All right. That's a good sign. Stretchy. Still not a hundred percent ready to go, but very doing very good. When it folds get soft like that or smooth I should say it's already significantly tighter all of that's the stuff that was stuck to the side it's not doing not really doing that anymore at all, almost at all see how smooth you get smooth sides now it's coming together I don't know I'm I don't know if I should be doing that I don't know how many folds you should be doing I usually do like between six and eight until it just doesn't feel like it wants to do it anymore I don't know if that's overkill or I want to have it nice and um, nice and uh, strong or at least that's how um, I interpret everybody else doing doing it so See, like that, it's barely wanting to move anymore. So I think that's it. Okay. We're good here. One more fold to go. I think everything's uh, the way it should be. So we're in good shape. Okay, fold three. I think... We're in really good shape. It looks good, it smells good. Yeah. 
when I'm stretching, I feel a lot of air bubbles in there, which is good. I think everything feels like it should, so that's always good and exciting. It means this evening we'll have a nice loaf of bread if it holds together this way, and I think it will. A lot of air in it. It's nice, nice and airy. Um, I wanted to have a smooth side so it looks better on camera, I guess. But this is looking good. Um, give it another hour of rest, and then we'll start our uh, shaping into the pan. And uh, the process is moving along great. I'm saying it like I know what I'm talking about, but I don't obviously. But, um, okay. This probably won't be needing that much more time to proof. I might almost be ready now. It's warm. It's 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 kind of warm in here today. I didn't. Uh, uh, I think we're in good shape though. It's going to be a weird. I hate it when it does that. It's going to expand into it. So I'm going to give it um, probably like. I'm gonna check in like an hour. I think it should be like an hour and then that's it. It's it's coming along pretty good. So I'm gonna uh, wrap it and saran wrap and then uh, uh, wait. Set a timer for 45 minutes. 45 minutes, starting now. I think, I think this one's gonna be okay. I'm just reassuring myself for that. <laughs> but it should be okay. There's, um, there's nothing or extra, nothing crazy about it. Everything seems to be the the way it normally is at this at the time intervals that it sets. Once you get into like a habit of doing it or a rhythm of doing it, then you kind of feel a little bit better. It would still be nice to have somebody to go, oh, you did this, this, this wrong, do this instead, try that. That'd be nice, but 
whatever. It's in there. Now we wait the the easier weights because this this one will reveal basically what it's going to look like. But that's in 45 minutes, so uh, time to wait. It's almost time to take the aluminum off. It's starting to smell good, so that's a good sign. Um, take it off, and then we'll take a look. Got a good rise on it um, so it went from like there to there so it's looking good like I said it was smelling good um, just got to get some color on it probably about 25 minutes and we'll be done all right fresh out the oven Smells good. Looks good. Let's take a look. A lot of bubbles, a lot of fermentation. This part just split really wide open. Um, for whatever reason, I guess there's more pressure here since there's a little more dough here. There's that little bit of twist that was there. It all filled in. But um, yeah, not that big a deal. See so, yeah. ya. This back part kind of blew up. The front part almost looks like the, the uh, one that I made a little while ago. But you see how like smooth it looks through here? That's good. It smells really great. So um, I think we're in good shape here. Uh, these should be nice uh, slices of bread. But now uh, it's like it's 5.30 in the afternoon. Probably slice, take a slice in like three or four hours. But overall it looks great. Okay, I cut it open. Looks good. Nice crumb. How well can you see that? Okay, yeah, well, nice crumb. Everything looks good. Flavor's really nice. The crust is good. I think um, this is a good one, so... Uh, uh, I give myself a B. The, the weird part is, like, where it got a little bit twisted, you'll see the texture on the sides. But flavor's good, though. That's all that matters.